chosen ones, empaths. The narcissist was set up by God and the universe. God and the universe caused the divine intervention to take place, which caused the separation from between yourselves, which gave them the mirage, right? You know a mirage? Like in the desert, when, in, when, you're, when you're through the desert and you're thirsty and then you see a pool of water and you run over to them, there's nothing but sand and dust. That's exactly what happened with the narcissist, right? They were, they were finessed by God and the universe, right? And it caused them to run off towards a new supply and it was a downgrade. It was the biggest downgrade ever, yeah? That's what they've done. Some of them are hiding their new supplies now. They won't even post them on social media. Some of them um, will post them on social media in a desperate attempt to make you jealous. But what I feel like, right, and I'm going a little bit off topic now, but one of the crucial things to why you'll be concerned even if you know they downgraded, but you're still concerned about the new supply, it's basically because of the trauma bond. Now, the trauma bond is a mixture of the demonic soul ties and the codependency issue, okay? But it keeps you wondering and guessing or makes you, like myself, for example, I remember the times when I would look at their social medias. I remember the times... I would look at it. And then one time I looked, I saw the new supply. And something made me see everything wasn't as cracked up as it was meant to be. You know? And I saw it was a downgrade. And something made me see behind the veil and realise that they were doing certain things within the photo aimed at me. Okay? Even the, the new supply, I saw one photo and I did look again, sorry, I looked again, it was twice. And the new supply had longer hair and it was like they were trying to copy or trying to shape them into me. So it kind of gave me a bit of relief and a bit of ease. But what I will say that I was looking at their social media is I was breaking no contact, right? And it was because I was still trauma bonded. Okay, we've got to realise that we can't hold on to the times we was with them, the good times. I mentioned in my last previous videos, those good times where we thought we were at our highest of them during the good times was actually our lowest. And where you feel like you're at your lowest now because you're still trauma bonded and stuff like that, you're actually at your highest point. Okay, I mentioned this in another video. So, you're actually at your highest point now, despite all the pain, despite all of that. Trust me, you are. Okay? But you've got to use it to your advantage now. You've got to use it to your advantage now. And stop wasting time searching for them on social media, wondering what they're doing or anything like that. If you've seen a glimpse of the reality, take a step back because we have to understand that the longer that we stay, you know, orbiting them, we're creating an energy which is not no contact. You've got to get, right, in a normal situation, normal relationship, not narcissists, not psychopaths, not sociopaths. If one of the spouse's um, boyfriend or girlfriend um, decided to do no contact, it would be very toxic, okay? But we have to do no contact for our sanity. We have to do no contact for our well-being. It's not nice seeing the person that you love, even though they've downgraded. It's not nice seeing them going with a downgrade if you don't look behind the veil. I saw behind the veil and I realized what the narcissist was trying to do to me. But if you don't look behind the veil, 
then you're going to start comparing yourself and think, why have they gone with them? What have they got that I haven't got? You've got to know your value. You've got to know you're dealing with someone that cannot be satisfied even with our potent supply. Everyone always says in the comment section, how comes, what about if we're the downgrade? Because there was an ex. No. There's many psychopaths, there's many sociopaths, there's many toxic individuals, and we've all heard the story of our ex running to a toxic individual and they had a hard time, right? We've all heard the story. But let's say for a moment that wasn't a lie and it was true that they were with a toxic person. Then that meant when they come into our lives, we wasn't a downgrade, okay? we got to stop thinking that this narcissist that's in our lives is the best narcissist and they can't be a victim as well. They can be a victim of abuse. They can be a victim of abuse. They can be a victim of toxic relationships too. They're not as, they're not as smart as they cracked up to be, right? You know, there's worse narcissists out there that will, that will ensnare and entrap them. But look, going back to the topic of the video... Um, please press the like and the subscribe button and help your brother out. It'll take two seconds of your time. Thank you. Going back to the topic of the video, right? The narcissist downgraded with the new supplier, right? The number one thing you've got to know, right? Is it was God and the universe that set them up. It was a divine intervention that took place to cause a separation between yourselves.